All right. Pull this up. Can't use it like that. Yo, let's talk. Let's talk about it, y'all. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about some things on my chest. And I ain't talking about hair fibers. Yo, let's have a real nigga conversation, people. Share the video. Shit gonna get real. Hello, how you doing? How y'all doing? Mm -mm. Hey, how y'all doing? How y'all feeling today? Let's talk, man. Had us up all night. I hope y'all got rest today. It was supposed to be a rest day. Let's, but right now, I got to get some things off my chest before I take it down. I want to talk about some things that need to be talked about. Do I need glasses? Maybe. I don't believe in that, though. But right now, I want to talk about something different. We're going to talk about this government conspiracy shit. Why the government is bad. Is the government bad? Is it good? Are they trying to take certain people out? Are they trying to kill certain people? You know, I keep hearing this shit, man. The Masons, the Illuminati, child trafficking, all of this here shit. I'm gonna make this I'm gonna make this so clear and simple for y'all. So y'all can see through a lot of bullshit that's going on right now. Bruh. Let me choose my words carefully because I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings, yo. I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings and I'll, I got to be careful with what I say because niggas is wild sensitive, B. And I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings as I'm watching the shenanigans. Right? I'm gonna say it as delicate as I can, yo. As delicate as I can. If it get real, I'm giving you disclaimer. If I hurt your feelings, if the shoe fit, put that motherfucker on, strap it on, and wear it out. But shit about to get real in this video. Matter of fact, bring me a red stripe. It's about to get real. I'm about to go deep. And I'm about to tell you some shit that's going to fuck y'all up, but it's the truth. Motherfuckers is talking about the government. And, and, and don't get me wrong. I talked about the government as well. I, 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 I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I actually res respect the government and I respect the European system, I don't agree with it, but I respect it because it's man, it's human, it's human behavior. I'm grateful. It's gonna get real. Damn, should I should I should I go there? <laughs> now I don't I don't think I should go there, but maybe I should go there, but I don't want to go there. I don't think you should. I don't it's, it's like a urge to do it though. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Do it, you're gonna regret it. Now I think I should be quiet. I should I think I should let it all unfold. No no no, I think that I should let it all unfold and just let it do what it do. That's fun too. You know, just be quiet and just let it happen. 
Because you're going to be like, that's not you. It's already, you know what I'm saying? It really is. All right, well, it's easy. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Man, listen, man. This shit going on with Young Pharaoh is a fucking fraud, bro. This nigga's promoting his website. Ain't nothing going on with him. That nigga's hella smart. That nigga is getting clout for niggas to go to his website. He's key. This is all a fucking sham, bro. This nigga knows the government very well. He goes to the police. Like, he knows. He knows everything. He's playing the game on y'all, and it's fucked up. I'm sorry. I can't watch it no more. This nigga's promoting his website and getting money, and he want to keep that money coming in. There's financial issues going on. He is feeling some kind of way. He's having a um, he's having a nervous breakdown because of his wife, his baby mom's playing game with his kids. He's hurting from that, and now he's like saying fuck everything. But he's also promoting his website. Let's let's be real here. There's nothing going on. No one's trying to get him. Niggas was probably trolling, sending him pizza. Like, they do that to everybody. They get their address, they get their number. Niggas gonna send pizza to your fucking crib. Stop trying to make this shit out of something that it's not, bro. We see you. You're turning into Nature Boy in front of everybody. When I was in Mexico, I never really showed my life. When I was in Mexico, he trolled me. Right? He trolled me. He tried to expose me. Anybody that had been following me, you know about Mexico. This is when I turned my camera around and I start showing everybody things in my life because niggas just trying to expose me. So I turned my camera around and then it was like showing everybody in my life. And this is how I started doing what I'm doing right now, showing my life. You don't, you don't see how he's now doing the same thing for clout? He now saying, they saying I'm crazy. Let me turn my camera around and prove exposing him let me turn my camp now karma came back around on him now he looking like a cult leader he got people in his house around him talking about at, at to nation let's talk about it b this is your karma now you looking like a straight nature boy cult leader your baby mom is velvet You got an unorganized cult forming. They're watching you. You're selling uh, knowledge, information on the internet, on your website. You're creating clout. You're using the mind of the people that are influenced by you. You're putting a foot in your mouth because you're telling people to kill people. They, gonna, they watching you. They see your influence. You got way more numbers than I do. You got way bigger influence than I do. You're in, you are in danger. You making yourself seen. See, if you're going to free slaves, you do it under the, you do it like an underground railroad. That's the only way it get done. You free the slaves, not by making noise, by silently doing it. You see my numbers? That's underground railroad shit. Like, I'm an underground railroad. Niggas, niggas, I'm, I'm hitting. My shit is all hidden. You don't really know what's going on with me. You making too much noise in the States. You in the States. Nigga, I'm over there in Mexico and another, I, another place, another. You making way too much noise. You ain't got no OG in your shit to tell you to shut the fuck up. No one gonna tell you to be quiet. No one's gonna say, yo, in your circle... The dumb niggas in your circle, they not going to be like, yo, my nigga, shut the fuck up. No one going to tell you to shut the fuck up. Because the more you talk, the more liable you are. And if you're the smartest person in the world and you got all the knowledge, shut the fuck up and disappear. The elite don't show their face. Do you think these little black people can, can, can save you from the government, what it wants to do to you? 
Have you ever watched what they did with the Black Panthers? How they had FBI agents, more than likely one of the guys around you are FBI agents. They send them in to be a part of you. Have you not watched the new movie that is called The uh, Black Messiah, The uh, Black Judas? Where the brother came in looking like one, talking like one, where he was undercover? Yo, people, you, this is how you know it's a gimmick because just a couple weeks ago you were saying, I'm not black. My, you was cursing your people out. Now you're looking for security and protection from your so-called people. I mean, this shit don't make no sense. All you got to do is use your brain. Bro is selling his website. He said, go to his website, click on a page, try to get some of the information on that page. $24, $200. I'm like, oh shit, he playing on the weakness of the people. Nigga trying to get the bag. Meanwhile, his heart, his heart is hurting. His heart is hurting from his baby mom playing games on him, which is his karma. You want to be nature boy so bad, you always wanted to be me. I mean, and it, and it ain't nothing against you because I like you. I like young fair. I think that nigga is funny. Let me make that disclaimer right now. I like this dude. I just think that he got little man syndrome. I think life is humbling him right now. I don't got no problems with Young Pharaoh, but Young Pharaoh is turning into Nature Boy right in front of y'all face. Don't worry. He always wanted to be like me because Young Pharaoh always had a bigger following than me. Why did he, the question is, why did Young Pharaoh attack Nature Boy? When Nature Boy was like, had a little following, he was in the shadows. But why did, out of all the people in the world, why did Young Pharaoh, who apparently had all the people and all the following. Why did he pick Nature Boy to fuck with? Why did he automatically say, I'm gonna expose Nature Boy? When he had a bigger following. Because he, oh, he knew me. He knew that I had the knowledge that he didn't have. He knew that I was doing the things that he was supposed to be doing. All of his knowledge that he was talking about, I was living it. He knew that. So he had to try to make me look bad. So that he could steal the people and steal more people to get the clout. Because he know that, like, oh, this the real deal. This is my bro. He could have united with me. We could have been, like, stronger together than apart. But he want to be greedy. Greed. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas ain't want to work with each other. Like, you feel me? Like, so that's, that's what the whole thing was about. Because we was already kicking it on the phone every day, building, da 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 with the knowledge and information. This nigga go toward Egypt because he know that Egypt was a was was another way for black people coming out of church. He would become the new minister. He would become the person that had the information that gave them the information before the Bible. And it's a gimmick. It's a gimmick. It's like coming out of hopping out of the uh, frying pan into the skillet. It's just the same bullshit. Because no one that is really going to give you knowledge makes you pay for it. You can't take, you can't, you can't, you can't sell information. You can't sell anything and be in tune with God. God would never sell you anything. Everything that comes from nature is free. Even information which is formulated from within you, a spiritual guide or someone that's going to teach you cannot charge you for their services is impossible. There's not been one guru in history that took uh, money for whatever the reason, not no real guru that was enlightened. No, even in the Egyptian times, none of them get paid. You could pay them for their services because it's their service to the rest of the collective humanity for them to render the knowledge and, and, and deliver the message that you're supposed to give. It was enough for them to do that. They can only receive donation. This is a fact. There's no way you are a God and a, a righteous man and sell information. Bottle it up and sell it just like the corrupt European has done. He's taken something that's come from nature for free 
All nature asks you to do naturally is plant the seed back. It's give back to the earth. No one in their righteous mind will sell information or sell themselves, period. But they will soon have their reward. Because it's just some false shit. You don't do that. We only allowed to take, the gods is only allowed to take donation. We're not allowed to charge for what we do. At all. That's the first sign of bullshit. You're charging for what you do. No. And anyone that charges you for what they're doing is not divine. They're not connected to no divine shit at all. It's demonic. No, no kind of messiah, no kind of real guru teacher has ever took it or, or charged for what they did, ever. They only accept donations. Well, that's number one. Because nature doesn't do what it does for money. You're not going to see, and this has been quoted from him himself, is that you're not going to see an apple grow from the tree with a uh, with a price tag on it. It's not you ain't gonna be able to look at the leaf and be like, oh shit, this is one ninety nine. No, it's never gonna be that. It's there. People possess it, control it, and then sell it. <coughs> they sell it for profit. This is what makes everything corrupt. And so what you're watching right now is. Corruption, my nigga. You're watching corruption and paranoia. It's a lot of corrupt shit going on with him. It's a lot of corrupt shit going on with polite. You watching it. You see what I'm saying? And it just is what it is because you turn him into nature boy before everything you fought at nature boy about being a cult leader, you're turning into one. You I turned my whole situation around in Mexico. Who's Press one if you was following the whole situation. Were you there in Mexico when I first turned my cameras around and exposed myself to the world? Like, bitch, I ain't got nothing to hide. I was going through that whole shit when niggas was talking about I got HIV. Oh, uh, like I was, I was, I had, uh, I was gay and all this shit. I turned my whole life around on camera. Press one if you was there. I turned my whole and I and I look like a crazy man. Defending myself to everybody in Mexico. This was years ago. I was doing the same thing he's doing right now. Trying to defend myself that I wasn't crazy or I wasn't this person that they said I was. Then my baby mom left me. You're watching Nature Boy all over again, my nigga. That's a fact. And he was the one that did it, so it's his karma. Now he's paranoid. And y'all watching it, bro. The government ain't got to do nothing but sit back and let you destroy yourself at this point. The government is 10 times smarter than you, young Pharaoh. Nigga, if they want you, it's nothing you can do. They will send a hot thotty to your crib. They will send a hot thotty. They got government hot thotties. Bitches bad as hell. They got all kind of black people that will come, that you think protecting you will come into your home and just sitting there watching you, poison your food right there. You see how your bodyguard ran away? They'll do the same thing. They'll just run off where they already did what they did to you. And make it look like it was your own people. You're not playing chess smart, Ock. You're like, oh, protect the king, protect the king. And now if anything happens to you, you're going to try to blame the government or make an uprise of the government. They know you got an influence over many people and many of youth. They know you're following that's why they, they, they ended your YouTube page. They know you have a big following. You're making a lot of noise. Now they're watching you. 
Who gives a fuck? If, if something happened to Young Pharaoh, everybody will be like, Young Pharaoh, just like they was like, Floyd, George Floyd, George Floyd. Three weeks later, my niggas will be quiet. Everybody will be quiet like it never happened. Let Then they'll bring out another strand of Corona. Boom, everybody locked down. Lockdown situation. And then boom, everybody go to fucking side because that's what everybody was doing. They was riding after George Floyd, right? Everybody was wowing. Then Corona strand came. Boom, they shut the whole world down. Blow. Fuck that Black Lives Matter. Get the fuck in the house. Everybody got in the house and forgot about George Floyd. Let me explain something to you very quickly. This is they shit. They made this shit. They made you over the hundreds of years. We are they slaves, nigga. And the quicker you accept this, the quicker you're able to come out of it. Black people, listen to me clearly. The first thing you need to do is say, I'm, the, I'm a slave of the United States of America. And what makes you a slave? Not the shit that we went through off the boats. That's not what makes you a slave. No. Nah. What make you a slave is that they made you, nigga. They educated you. They educated your ancestors. We always talk about the ancestors, but your ancestors were slaves, nigga. You always want to look at the ancestors over the before the 400 years. But even before the 400 years in Africa, nigga, you were servants of the motherfucking kings and queens out there. Nigga, you was always a slave, nigga. And don't ever try to look at yourself as a king or a queen, nigga. You've been a servant. You, you're, you're, and you look at those people on, oh, or those gods, and you say, these are my ancestors. No, nigga. We were the servants of them niggas. We was never gods, ever. Stop. Most of us was just slaves. We're descended of a long line of slaves, nigga. We were always servants before the white man came and got us. We were servants over there. In Africa, most of us, most of us, because these were bloodlines that were kept very small and close knitted. You didn't come from greatness, nigga. You a slave. And the quicker you understand that, the quicker maybe you can out outgrow that. Maybe that you can outgrow that. Maybe you can come out of slavery. But as long as you keep making yourself a victim to the United States of America and keep saying that somebody's doing something to you, that nigga. They programmed you to say that. They programmed you. They made you. And God we trust. They own the money. They made you. You believe in money. You're doing everything you do for money. Money rules you. They always got you. If they wanted you, they'd freeze your accounts. Your accounts would be frozen, nigga. What would you do if... That's their money. That's their accounts. They can freeze your account at any moment. You've been indicted. You're getting indicted. For whatever reason, they could just freeze your shit up. Your account being zero. Why? Because this their bank, nigga. They letting you play with their money, dog. It's their shit. You got to get a healthy perspective. All of this shit is theirs. Ain't none of it yours. Even if you possess it, it's theirs. You belong to them, nigga. They will come snatch you like, like nothing never happened. Like a body snatcher. Wow. Get you out of there. Snatch your soul out your body. Like it's nothing. You're just a unit of energy. You're just a number. You're nothing. You're in their world making noise. Shut the fuck up. This is their shit. Rightfully so. They made you. They made your children. They made your woman. All of this shit is theirs. The woman belong to them. You think these black women belong to us? You got to be out of your motherfucking mind. These black women belong to them. And they'll show you. You see your baby mom in your inbox talking about, I'm putting your ass on child support. Because these women belong to the government too, nigga. Everything belongs to the white man. This is world, nigga. And as soon as you grasp that, you got to respect that man in his home. This is shit. Oh, maybe it used to be indigenous people here. 
that lived one with nature. They were very animalistic. We was in harmony with nature. But the white man came and took over. It's his shit now. We speak his language. We dress in his clothes. We live in his homes, his structures, his woman. These are his women, man. <laughs> let's, let's, let's keep it real. They look like ours, but they're his. And as soon as your ass can accept the truth about the matter, you talk about child trafficking, nigga, this is his shit. He will do what the fuck he please. Y'all can't fuck with the police. The police are the security, nigga. They police you by the motherfuckers that legislate your laws. They unseen motherfuckers, the elite. These are your gods. They're your government. They govern you. They are the government force in your life. They determine what happens with your life. If you live, if you breathe, if you die, if you go to jail, which is their hell. Hell is jail is hell. That's why it's spelled with a J. Hell, nigga. They'll put you in hell or they'll let you be in heaven if you want if they may let allow you to be rich and famous. That's when you go to heaven. When you do when you when you figure out the system, they let you go to heaven. And you can get kicked out of heaven too. And get right back in hell. Jail. See, they made it all up. It's their world. They their religion. You think you're praying to Jesus, but you're praying to them. Because our God was us, nigga. We were God. Everything was connected. We, we God. How we praise God is by praising each other. Praising nature, praising trees, praising everything. Everything was God, so we praised and worshiped everything. That's how we worship God. This is not what we were. But let us... In our mind first as an alcoholic has to has to accept the fact that I'm an alcoholic. See the problem with black people, we got too much false pride. We have not sit with the reality of the situation first. This is why we have not healed. We cannot unite. We cannot understand what's going on. There's very few of us that can truly sit and understand what's actually going on here. There is no fighting. <laughs> You can't fight this shit. There is no resistance. That's all an illusion. You can't do anything about this shit. This shit is so powerful. It's so well constructed. Well established. So deeply rooted psychologically, subconsciously established that it has to destroy itself. <laughs> but I didn't want to go here. I just, I just really want to get some stuff off my chest before, before the night over. I just wanted to get this off my chest before the night over. All I'm saying is stop playing games with these people's mind because the real gods is watching and we know what the fuck going on. You can't resist this shit. Y'all keep talking about the government this, the government that. Nigga, the most you can do is build your shit and duck the fuck off somewhere as far as where as you can. Quietly build yourself over there somewhere. Reprogram some kind of woman that you could deal with without them dying because they've been embedded in them for hundreds of years to be a, to be one with this shit and be the wife of this system. The most you can do is duck the fuck off somewhere, build your shit and sit there and seed your own shit and allow this shit to do what it do and fall. And when it falls, be prepared for that. That's it. You can't resist this shit. <laughs> you could just be, you could be in it and not of it. That's all you could do is be in it and not of it. Resisting it. It's too powerful to resist. The current is too powerful. So cut it out. 
Cut it out. You're promoting your website. You're making too much noise. You know what you're doing. Cut it out. You said you were trying to get attention. But if, if you just pay attention, that website keeps getting thrown in there. Hey, y'all go over here and go to my website. I got, I got proof. Just come on, man. You can't slick a can of oil, my nigga. You can't hustle a hustler. <laughs> we can see the game, baby. Press one if you see the game. Press one if you could if you smell a money hungry motherfucker. A hurt motherfucker cause his baby mom playing games with his offspring. And shit ain't happening the way he, this is his way of crying about what's happening. He having a breakdown. And this is his response to it. We smell the real niggas sit back and we can sense it and smell it. We can see it for what it is. But it's entertaining. We still watching this shit funny. The nigga funny as hell. Farrell funny as shit. But we know what you're doing. It's called clout chasing, bro. But be careful because you wildin' and, 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 and you putting your family in danger. You telling people to kill people? You putting up weapons at people? They can use that against you. You have influence on people. They got you recorded telling people. Now you're a cult leader. Welcome to, welcome to nature, boy, nigga. The beauty with me is that y'all destroyed my image so well I'm protected. Because nobody gives a fuck about what Nature Boy says. I'm over in a corner, in a little, little corner, in the middle of nowhere in the internet. It's a couple people that follow, maybe two, maybe, maybe 300 at the most. Okay. Right? Right. Don't want to close it? Mm -hmm. What is it? No, he ain't closing all that. Maybe 300 at the most. I'm chilling over here. No, no. Y'all, my image is so ruined in the community. I have no influence. Nobody cares about what I say. I'm a lucky man. You get it? I'm a lucky man. I can scream in this little corner over here. I could do a whole bunch of shit. Nothing matters. Because people hate me. And I love that. Because that protects me. But I say the realest shit ever. Ever. This is the realest shit ever. But it's only for for 5%. For the small percent of people that can grasp it. Hmm? So the hate actually protects me. I'm comfortable. With you, dog, you got the heat on you. You took the money. You took the beast's money. You're selling what, what, was, what God gave you, what the universe gave you, us, the us, the us universe, because we are, the, we are it. You selling it? Corrupt. It's not righteous for you to sell it. And if you're listening to this and you get this message, stop selling what is free to your people. On your website, it says unlock. You unlock with what? Whose money is this? Whose money, to belong? Whose money does it belong to? A, you are a pope to be a public servant. A public servant. Unlocked for $289 a year. Excuse me? There's video of you saying out of your own mouth that we're not supposed to sell things. That that's corrupt. That that's part of what the government does is corrupt. Money corrupts things. Why are you doing it? I'm a self-made millionaire? What's going on here? Okay, so we see that this is a scam. That this whole thing is a sham. A mixture of your hurt feelings about what's going on with your baby mother who broke up the family. Um, this is a response to her. 
playing games. and Because in the process, you'll hear him say, come back home, baby. Come back home. I love you. And this upside down P is, it looks like this, doesn't it? Did you turn my shit upside down? What? You're, you're, did he just turn my shit upside down, y'all? Listen. <laughs> I mean, did he just turn my shit upside down? Did he just, he just, you're not going to use another finger? Think of you the thing? No. I love you. I love you, Yoshara. It's all good. It's all good. Um, those of you been watching, you're watching Nature Boy experience all over again. The nigga's turning his whole life around. We watching this nigga's kitchen. You see people in the background, unorganized as hell. Niggas walking around like, uh. Niggas is scared when the police show up. What you do? Young bulls. Nigga look, ah, uh, shit, um... Um, um, grab a cup. Um, 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 grab some juice. Uh, in a moment. Uh, yeah, and uh, take the phone. Uh, and record it. And uh, come on, man. <laughs> These, some goofy shit going on, bro. We got to laugh at this shit, B. <laughs> come on, bro. Come on, man. This is why the... This is why the bodyguard was like, yo, I'm out. <laughs> the bodyguard said, yo, I'm getting away from this shit. This shit getting weird. I'm out. And this is just how young Pharaoh is not used to dealing with his emotions, yo. Because he's hedged. He's about head. So the woman in his life that came along, this is an emotional response of him dealing with emotions. He never really had to deal with emotions. He never had to deal with the emotions. You know what I'm saying? Like a nigga that always is headstrong. Look at all these books. They got $100,000 in library. So he's up here. He's logical, logical, logical. When he's dealing with a woman and the baby, it makes him have to deal with the emotional body. And he doesn't know how to deal with that. He don't know who to trust. He don't know who to talk to. The nigga just need a hug. Because his mind is just discombobulated because he's like, listen, I'm a logical person. This is what I do. I read. Why am I dealing with emotions right now? Why do I have to deal with women? Why do I have to deal with my emotions who tap you into your emotions? I don't know how to deal with that. And this is my response to my baby mother going crazy. And it just be like that because he's trying to be logical and it just go crazy like that. But karma's a bitch. Because we watching Nature Boy all over again. The nigga said, I'm God. Nigga talking about the all seeing eye now. He's talking about God. I'm God. People always like young Pharaoh's energy. And people that admire him will always be people that can't do what he does, which has the gift. He has to get the gab. And the nigga's funny. He has a way with words, slick with his mouth. And so, yeah, people are like, you know, they admire that. They will always admire people that are fearless leaders that talk you know, that are real crafty with the way they talk and all of that. That's why people like me, like, oh, people see your strength and they, they don't see that in themselves. So you attract those people to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, okay, cool. Looking like a cult leader to me. Looking like a cult leader to me. And that's how the government views you. A cult leader. And if you just pay attention, the real always pops out. The website, the baby mom. The website, the baby mom. The website, golden. Golden website. 
money golden money money golden keep the money coming in golden and trust me I know how it feels for one I know how it feels to be building with someone and they take their whole shit I just told you this whole shit belongs to this government there's nothing you can do to fight the government you can try to spread awareness all you want it doesn't fucking matter what you do they're allowing you to put the awareness on their fucking internet. They, nigga, they made the internet. <laughs> you think you made the internet? No, nigga, the, the government is, it fucking uses the internet to, to listen to what the people are talking about. It can censor it. It allows you to be uh, have freedom of speech, so-called. Say the wrong thing, your shit gets erased. They made the internet to listen to you idiots. The government sits on high. The real people that run the government, you don't know, you don't never see them. You never see them. You think you know their name, but you never see them. But they're watching you through the internet. They're actually creating uh, artificial intelligence that is collecting all of the data the algorithms and data of our voices and our thoughts to create human consciousness from computer and, and put the human consciousness into the computer. Actually, you, this is all actually experiment. This is all experiment. This is a social experiment. At the same time, how else does the elite get to understand what's on the people's mind? Y'all just chatting away. They just look at that numbers. They're looking at what influences people the most. That's why they have a number system. Your little blue check that you have lets them know how many followers you have. If you have a certain amount of followers, you're under radar. They're watching you because you can influence other people. So these are the people they have set up watching the people that have a lot of influence. If you are like me, where you got 200 people in your live, they don't really pay. You're not even on their radar. If you got all these people on your live, you say certain words. They got all kind of algorithm that taps you into their shit and they start watching you. This shit is real. That's how they know what's on your mind and who to watch and what the people are liking, the trends, the hashtags. They let them know exactly the algorithm of the people mind, exactly what people are clicking the most. What are people fucking wanting? What are they asking for? People like cats, people like this. They have, they have programs. And the internet is a is a fucking social experiment to actually see what the people are, what's influencing people's mind, and where to put collectivist thinking and what they want. It's called the internet, and they watch you from the internet collectively to know how to control you. I mean, if you had your own government, right? If you was the, the if you was the forefathers of a government that had millions of people, how do you control it? How do you govern millions of people? How do you know what all these people want? I mean, put yourself in the high position. This is your country. You established it when you had to kill all the fucking Indians here. We came here, nigga. We slaughtered all these niggas. We told these niggas, listen, you gonna get down or you gonna lay down, nigga. We came on they shit. We took this shit because we was we needed somewhere to live. We needed somewhere to bring our family, our kids. Man, fuck this shit. Get down, lay down. It's gonna be us living or y'all dying. It don't matter, nigga. You came and you fucking took shit over. Y'all niggas conquered. Right? We conquered. We came, we conquered, and we came with niggas to work for us to build our world. Y'all niggas gonna build our world. Fuck is you talking about? Y'all gonna build our shit. This is what human beings have done to human beings. Y'all gonna build our shit. We don't owe you shit because at the time slavery was motherfucking legal. We don't owe you nothing, nigga. We ain't give you, we ain't give you no apology, nothing, nigga. The most we gonna give you, we we, we let y'all niggas, we'll, we'll, we'll ship y'all back to boats and give you Liberia. We'll give you Liberia. What we do? Fuck it. But anyway, moving forward, we don't owe you shit, nigga. 
because we still don't look at you as nothing but monkeys, nigga, and little uh, local animals, which we are. <laughs> if they don't give a fuck about the trees and the birds, bitch, they don't give a fuck about you, black nigga. Because you're a real human being. You're an animal that was here before them. You're a native. We don't give a fuck about the natives, bitch. We took this shit over. Fuck the natives. We don't give a fuck about no fucking natives, nigga. We, we bone this shit, nigga. Fuck you. And I dare you ask me for an apology. To this day, my power, I would say, fuck you. Do something about it. And all you can do is complain. Oh, my God. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Nigga, we don't give a fuck about your life. You're a unit of energy, nigga. At this stage, at this, at this place where we sit, where we have millions, hundreds of millions of people, motherfucker, you're a unit of energy. We'll take your life like this. Doesn't matter. Another baby will be born tomorrow. Fuck you. You're nothing. At this level of, of fucking government, right? Hundreds of millions of people. It's nothing to cut that bitch off. Cut your whole fucking lifeline off, nigga. You're nothing but a unit of energy. You're stock. <laughs> I mean, you got to put your mind into the mind of the government. And you have rulership over millions of people. I want you to behave. I'm going to do everything in my willpower to make sure you do what the fuck I tell you. And that's just behave. Follow my rules, listen to what I tell you to do, don't question anything, and just do what I tell you to do like a good little kid. Shit, some of y'all have a problem just governing your own fucking kids running around the house. You got five kids, three kids, four kids, you can't even control your kids. You gotta drop them hard-headed ass niggas off at the school. They got to go to grandma for you to get some motherfucking peace and quiet. Imagine running a, a country of millions of people. It's no longer, oh, sit down, Eric. You don't know people's names. Motherfuckers become just units. How many units do we have in, 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 oh, oh, in Georgia? How many units do we have? You're a unit, nigga. <laughs> this is why they have jails. You're a unit. Black lives matter. No, nigga, you should say black units matter. Because that's how they look at you. You're a unit. Hmm. Unity. <laughs> I mean, come on. Think about it from their perspective for a minute. Right? You always heard about the conspiracy theories, how the government is doing this, the government. No, the government trying to make you fucking behave, bitch. And we ain't got no time to come down. Hey, um, YP, um, can you just quiet down a little bit? Thank you. No, nigga. What happened? You making some noise? Quiet that nigga right now. Dead. Okay, cool. Moving on. Because they look at it differently. They look at it as, they look over it. They see the bigger picture. You're zoomed into this little world. We were talking to the people and saying, yo, we the, we the people, we're consciousness. <laughs> like, they don't give a fuck about what you're talking about, nigga. They don't give a fuck. Would you? You wouldn't give a fuck either. You'll start looking at this shit like, okay, um, 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 what's going on over there? Okay, give me the, give me the, because I'm one, be I'm one, hum I'm a human being. Give me what's exactly going on here. Okay, yeah, uh -huh. and he's influencing how many? Is he making them get riled up? Are they, are they trying to protest? Are they trying to, how much influence do they have? They have it set up that if you start making fucking enough noise, they're gonna out you, nigga. It doesn't fuck, and, and by all rights, I mean, like I said, some of you can't even handle your little kids that's around the house, let alone handle millions of people. These are a small elite group of people trying to handle millions of people. Don't. They just want to, this is what elections are for. This is why they have elections, right? Because they want to hear what the, the elite use the, use the Democrats, the Republicans to hear what the collective wants. They don't give a fuck. To, all that shit's bullshit. It makes you think you got a choice. They influence your decisions. They, they do whatever they want to get whatever they want done and get everybody to shut the fuck up. Just calm. This is why. 
they've made it so comfortable for black women. I mean, black women got it made right now. Because if women start uprising, it's going to be a fucking problem. They know who to give things to and give benefits to. It's so hard for the black woman to resist this system because she has it made in this system. White woman, black woman, and what men going to do without their woman? They going to have to conform. So this is, the, this is the art of control, right? This is the art of control. First, you give the woman what they want. Give the woman equal rights. Don't let men be men in their homes. We need to be in the homes. We need to know what's going on. Over-police everything. Everything needs to be secure. We need new prisons. We need to we need make sure that these men stay in check. Because men need to stay in check. It's not about the woman. Come on or nothing. Make the woman feel powerful. And so if the woman don't uprise, oh, you ain't got no issue. You understand what I'm saying? Because you got to keep control of the woman. The woman are the, are the head of the nation. So if you give the woman power, if you give them rights, if you give them what they want, then a woman will not uprise with the men. The men want to, the men like, you know, myself, you know, we, we can't do shit without women. You think you're going to build your own nation without a woman? She. <laughs> and so they give the woman rights so it makes it virtually impossible for you to break free of this shit. This is why I'm doing what I want. This is why I'm in Babylon. I realize. I built my shit over there. I play here. It's just, I accept it. I'm waiting. I'm prepared. And it just is what it is. Right? Give the woman free rights. Give the gays free rights. Shit. Give everybody. Just nigga, just don't give the black community shit. But give them in, in increments. Like the woman. Give them, give them better jobs. Give them opportunities. Let them get in front of the men. Like, don't let the men rise. If you let the men rise and their women are gonna support them, you have something powerful. But you gotta keep them divided. But that's what you need to do to control the people. It's psychological just tactics. It's how human nature is set up. Men cannot build anything, even if men try to build something. His woman is sitting there with the, in the back of her mind saying, I don't need you. So watch your mouth. I'm there as long as you kissing my ass. But if you ever put your foot down, I'm out, bitch. Because I have a government over here that's going to give me opportunities to empower myself. And I don't even need you. Not knowing that when the government collapses and they're no longer in rulership, you're you, you sitting there talking about you're going to power yourself. You're a female out here. When money has no power, you're looking stupid. So it's just like, okay. Uh, when you start to be, try to build your own, try to do your own thing, you, you don't have no woman. You have no woman. You have no woman. If you have no woman, you have no power. You can't build shit. A nation needs lots of women. Lots of them. Matter of fact, more women than men. That's why most of the men are in prison. and This shit is just thriving because there's more women out here than men. Actually, statistically, when there's more women than men and there's only less men ruling, that shit works perfect. That's why naturally men that are get powerful, they realize polygamy is the way. They're like, yo... Polygamy is how you build the nation. You need a lot of women. Because women going to flower that shit. Women going to make it and cultivate it and bring it into fruition. Because women is the feminine aspect, which is the vibration of any kind of frequency. If you have a thought, you need vibration to make it, to make it manifest. You don't have a woman, you can't manifest shit. You can only build an infrastructure. And that shit is just sitting there dormant until a woman comes and flowers it. You, without a woman, you ain't got shit. And black men, you don't have your woman. She's property. Property. Psychological property of the United States government. <laughs> and the only way that spell is going to break is when the economy collapses. And even then, even then, like the dog that had a chain around his neck for 10 years 
and then the owner took the chain off his neck, the dog still couldn't go to past the distance of the chain that was on his neck. It had been used to the chain psychologically, it couldn't go past. Because it, it, it became psychologically conditioned after a certain amount of time. So even if they break the chains and it's all free, they're still going to have problems with your woman. So we got a long battle uphill. And all you can do is constantly try to educate your woman. But I'm telling you, it's in, it's in better than her. It's in better than her to be a fucking, when I say bitch, I mean it with the most punctual understanding ever. The word bitch means a woman that is difficult, a woman that resists you, and a woman that just gives you a hard time. That's a bitch. Just being a bitch. Why are you being a bitch? Why are you going to give me a hard time? Why can't you just agree? Why can't you understand my mom? Why can't you understand what I'm doing? Why you got to always give me a hard time? That's a bitch. Okay? A bitch is just someone just difficult. Always got something to bicker about. Always complaining. The bitch ain't never grateful. He's a bitch. You bitchy. And I don't mean to disrespect nobody, but to, to the true definition of the word, a woman that's just in resistance and difficult all the fucking times, a bitch. You fucking bitch. And your woman was made to be a bitch to you. It's, just, it's, it's in our history. Once you understand the psychology, so now there is no, unless the woman is chosen to be one of the chosen ones to really break the generational curses. It's a certain kind of astrological alignment that a woman needs to have. Even to be able to break those generational curses, she has to be chosen. Her soul had to come here for the service to do that. And the only way you're going to run to them chicks is if you right. You women don't need you to survive. Not in this world. And until this world is, is destroyed, they don't need you. And you just got to understand that if you're not needed, you're not valued. And if you're not valued, then you're nothing. Black man, you are nothing at all. And you will continue to see this shit the more you keep planting your seed in this unfertile soil. You keep planting your seed. I've done it. We all have done it. We plant our seeds in this unfertile soil. And, uh, and you know that the children belong to the father. You are your father's child. It is our seed that she has nursed. And it's our nation that she has taken and brought forth. And she has stolen it with the rights of the white supremacy system that we live in. Because she, she has been empowered to. To keep us divided. And in her emotions, she will utilize that system to take you down. And it just is what it is. The better you understand that. Better you know how to deal with this shit. You can't blame her. We don't blame you. We can't. It's as much as we can't blame ourselves. We have to blame. We cannot talk about what's going on in the dark and blame each other. We're in the dark. We have to blame the motherfucker that turned the light out. So once we know, like, okay, this has been psychologically conditioned like this, we're all crabs in the barrel. Crabs don't belong in the barrel. We're not in a proper environment. We're not proper. We're not. We're not doing. That. We don't think proper. We don't. We, this environment it doesn't is not conducive for us to be one with what is. What do you do? Well, you patiently wait. And with that being said, it's beautiful that the live is ending right now. Because I'm done with what I have to say. To young Pharaoh, I mean you no harm. I mean you no disrespect. Young brother, if you really who you say you are, stop charging the people money and shut the fuck up. Just be quiet, bro. Before you really make it hot on yourself and something happens to you or unless you just want to be a martyr. You want to go out with a bang? Seem like you want to go out with a bang. Seem like you ready to die. But don't blame the government because you disrespecting their shit. Because if a nigga come in your home disrespecting you, you're going to kill him. You're in their home disrespecting them. Let's, let's ponder about that for a minute. You're in their shit disrespecting them. With that being said, Nunu, which means good night. I love myself. One mind.